Apicus Auctions, sale 236 video, file for lot 171. Uh, the great saga of the eight, uh, 1976 18 cent postal cards, which contained several real bloopers. Um, this card was rejected uh, because of this building was casting a shadow across here. I have to say it's a much nicer photograph than this one, which is terribly blue but didn't have the shadows. Uh, it doesn't seem to matter that uh, they wanted to take it from the uh, northern aspect, making it appear that it's a uh, an eastern facing beach, western facing beach. Yeah, you know what I mean. It's round the wrong way. Uh, this one was replaced. Um, this ship was retired from service in 1968, uh, 18 years before the cards were. Um, sorry, eight years before the cards were issued, and so it was replaced with. This close-up of the bridge, Coolangatta Beach. Um, this card uh, is actually at Port Macquarie, uh, whereas the replacement card correctly showed Coolangatta. Uh, the important thing about these is that the stamp has the same view as there. So for each of these cards, that was replaced, a stamp was replaced, and when you consider that there's only a handful of sets of these cards around, it means that the stamps are among the rarest Australian issues and uh, completely un uh, uh, disregarded by most people. This one was changed for aesthetic reasons. Uh, this one was just an updated view with more development. Same with this one. Uh, this is particularly funny because this is Surface Paradise again. and uh, This photo was uh, replaced because it appeared that it was a... Um, a western beach whereas in fact it's an eastern beach like this but that was the point that I was making about that first card uh, where they replaced it with the wrong aspect uh, there were a couple of uh, flaws on this photograph which caused it to be replaced and same here uh, th these were really minor things but you think that the person who was responsible for doing the replacements decided that the more cards he replaced the better he seemed to be doing his job these are really minor uh, reasons for replacement but those first half dozen they are all fair income errors or uh, it was necessary to get rid of them. Uh, these two have got no helicon band around the stamp. So, quite a story, quite a saga. Grossly underrated and underappreciated and consequently grossly undervalued.